Cortez looks me in there, man. You'll day you'll have a day coming soon. I promise. Right off the bat, no glove touch. And then Gerard switches stances after the kick. Interesting. And he stances uh, back to orthodox, back to southpaw. See, we're gonna see a full spectrum fight, I think. So, Gerard's way of ducking around those uh, punches, like oh, oh my gosh, Gerard with a first round knockout. What a comeback for Gerard after his first loss, or not first, his recent loss. I mean, wow. Okay. I'm sad down with that one. Well, I can understand Gerard's excitement a little bit. I mean, especially coming off that last loss. Uh, he, he won just as quickly as he lost last time, so I'm sure that feels very redeeming after that, you know. And I'm good for him to get that finish. He really I mean, showed his power. Shot. Yeah. Right on the jaw. Yeah. And what a manly moment to do it with pink gloves on, too. Oh, yeah, making a <laughs> statement with that. It's absolutely. So what I was gonna say earlier, before he absolutely let loose on Ger uh, sorry on Jose, was that Gerard really seemed to be uh, ducking and slipping really wide, which was you know usually not good. But it looks like he was just setting up that big shot. Maybe he had it in his mind, I'm just gonna move really wide and look for the opening and then swing as hard as I can. And yeah. I mean, considering how it went down, that was a valid tactic. And another facet of this is when both guys are swinging like that. It's kind of like rolling dice, like. They could have done that ten times and maybe, you know, seven, six times out of ten. Right. Gerard gets knocked out and the yeah. other four times Cortez gets knocked out. I mean, out. who knows? It really just comes down to the test of whose jaw is harder, who has the stronger jaw, you know? And who can swing with accuracy under that high yeah. drone situation. Yep. May not be the most technical move, but, man, is it entertaining. Yep. And clearly...